the maker. Are you ready for Jesus? Jesus is real. This promise is not a false promise. This promise is not something fake. It is not a governmental system that fails or rules us. This is the truth. The truth, the Bible says, is going to make us free. And it is going to make us free indeed. Indeed, because it sets a precedent. It sets something above everything that we know. Everything that is possible. Everything that we think about. God is greater. Jesus is the best. He is the only application for all our situations. We are having crime everywhere in all the cities. Everywhere we go preaching this gospel, we can see the turmoil. We can see the tragic events. Folks killing one another, drugs. Everything that is wrong is prominent. But yet we will not turn our lives back to God. This Jesus is real. We can shun him all we want. But we're going to have to face him. The Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. There is no other God in heaven or in earth nor beneath the earth. Amen. One God, Jesus Christ. And he's coming whether you want him or not. And you're still going to have to face him whether you like it or you don't like it. Because he is the king of kings and lord of lords. We are praying for those people in Kentucky, in Arkansas, and other surrounding states that had all these tornadoes last night. Devastating. A hundred years. They haven't seen anything like this. Right. And yet we are taking things lightly. We are taking things as if, you know, everything is smooth. Everything is okay. We think about inflation and the rise of prices and stuff. But that is the signs. That is the signs of the time that Jesus is coming and he's coming soon. And we are not ready. We are not prepared. We are not even lifting up our hearts. God. Our minds, as the Bible has asked us to, turn it over to Jesus. Return to Jesus and he will return to you. We cannot have it both ways. Jesus gave his life. He gave his entire life. He didn't hold back anything when they were whipping him. He didn't hold back anything when they put that cross on his shoulders to carry it up. He didn't say it's too much pain. He didn't do it for any particular person, but for every single solitary one that he has created. Amen, in his own image and likeness. He has made us in his own image and likeness. And we will not give to him what he's asked us. Turn to Jesus and be made free. Be made free. Be made free because he is free. He is life. He is holy. We cannot live our lives as we please and say we're serving Jesus. There is a way. Which may seem right to man, but it is not right to God. It cannot be because his ways are not our ways. He doesn't stand up in the filth that we have. He separates it. He separates himself from this ungodliness on this earth presently. All these diseases... If we turn back to God, if we turn back to Jesus, if we go back to the altars and sacrifice our lives, lay it down, as he said, 
pick up our cross and follow daily, then, then things will change. But we are in the winter season and the temperature is as if it's summertime. I don't think it's any global warming. This is the signs of the time. This is what Jesus is able to do. He rides the storms. Lord. He sends whatever destruction he wants upon the earth. Because we have rebelled and turned against him. How can we have peace when we are not with the Prince of Peace? We have to turn back to Jesus. If we don't turn back to Jesus, we will be left desolate. Destruction and judgment will take over. It is already happening. Every part of this country and the world, we don't need to look too far before we can see. Every day on the news, things are happening that never happened before. Things are starting to look real dim. And yet still, we will not wake up. Wake up! Lord. Wake up! Yes, Lord. Wake up and cry out yeah. to Jesus that he might be merciful. That his mercy will endure forever. Oh Lord. Oh Jesus. Jesus wants us to surrender. He wants us to surrender. He wants us to look to him. From whence coming our help. Our help can only come from him. Everybody is promising this and promising that. But there is nothing like Jesus. You know I was just. Talking about all these apps. And all these different electronic devices. But you know Jesus. Jesus is a kind of app you need to download. You need to put Jesus, the app of Jesus in your heart. If you put the, the app of Jesus in your heart, you will not need any other app. Because he, he is the one app that is able to adapt to any situation, any complaints, any sin that you think he's unable to wash away. That app of Christ. Jesus in you, the hope of glory, is the one app that's going to take care of all your trials and troubles, all your diseases, all your sicknesses. The COVID 19 cannot stand up against him. Yes, Lord. Amen. It cannot rule over him. He is the healer, he is the master, he is the king. And he's calling this morning. He's calling to your ears and your hearts. To open up and let him in. Let him in. Make a change in your life today. Praise the Lord. Give him a chance. You've tried everything. You're doing everything. But nothing is working. So why not give him a chance? Lord. Why not give him the opportunity? Why not give him one chance only? And if it doesn't work. Then you can say that you have tried. But I guarantee you if you try him. Just one time only. Yes, Lord. He will not fail. He cannot fail. He will not fail you. Praise God. Yes, Lord. His promises yea and amen. Yay. Yay yay. And that's what he's going to give to you. He's going to give you. Your desire. He's going to give you peace. He's going to give you joy and happiness. And the greatest of it all, he's going to give you eternal life. That's his promise. And I urge you, I urge you today. You're not too far away to call on him and give him a chance in your life. Give him a chance today to set you free and to make you like he wants you to be. Glory. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen.